It is. Because the way that touch works is that you have to get up pretty darn close, cast the spell, and then do whatever you need to do after that, right? So what I mean by that is that like, if I want to use Cursed Hand, even though all these effects are very Magicka heavy costs, I chose to weaken the cost so much because of the fact you have to get up close to the person, up close to the enemy itself. So let's say this guy, you have to go so close to him, you have to cast the spell. So that's, that's just, that's just the little things though that I think about in terms of for this. I'm sorry for going on the long thing about this though, but I just wanted to mention that too. Like I did a lot of changes here and there and that uh, I feel so happy though that I was able to get most of this stuff, like all, like all of the, at least all the spells fixed up. I kind of wish I was able to fix the night vision goggles necessarily, but like I don't understand how they, how they broke in the first place. The code looks very simple in terms of like how it should work. It works one way, so why doesn't it work the other way? Like, that's... That's kind of, like, where my mind is going. Like, if it works one way, why isn't it working the other way? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Yeah, so let's head to Breville. Or Bruma, sorry. Not Breville. Ugh. Going to Bruma. Anyway. Yeah. Let's start this mod. This will more than likely be separated into two separate videos, more than likely, so. I already know that for a fact. I may just make this one intentionally smaller by making it like six videos instead. I don't know if I want to do it yet. Depends on how much, uh, how long the mod is. I don't think it's that long. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to check if there's an AI voice add-on. I think there was. Uh, do I want to risk it? To do that change. Uh, when do we see voice acting in this mod? Can I remember what it is while we're on our way there? Like, how far in the mod do we have to go for the voice acting? I don't think it's that close I think I think all of it's just custom voices I think I think this is the area is this the area did I find it oh yeah I have okay good secret well Oh. who put their snow in my buckets we put their snow in my buckets in my horror mod I'm currently playing through yeah all right all right I found the abandoned cabin there's blood on the floor I should search the place for something that could help me figure out what's going on blood there's a dog there's a dog somewhere there potentially might be a dog somewhere. It? Ooh. Okay, search. Some more flesh. Very cool. Got some steel armor here. Very nice. I see they learned their lesson from last time and gave us some gauntlets. Very nice. All right, let's see. What did? What was the other thing? Is it a chainmail helmet? A guard helmet. Why? So they gave us a steel helmet. That's actually kind of interesting. Okay. And what was the weapon? Just a steel claymore? Okay, this gives you... Okay, if they have ghosts, this is very useless. Okay. What's the note? Oh, okay. This, that's their note. Okay, good. I, I, I questioned why I had a note in my inventory. But I guess it's that. Okay. A note. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Ooh, okay. I'll take all that. It's not too bad. Alright, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna see if I if I do have that add-on, that voice, uh, the AI voice add-on, uh, like downloaded already and just saved somewhere. If not, I'm gonna go download it right now and I'm going to install it and I'm gonna be uh, right back before the actual mod starts, pretty much. All right, so I have it now installed after performing a rookie mistake and not checking data files while I installed the mod. I have now done that, so let's go. So it's now confirmably installed. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, um, I have updated the mod list with uh, the UI mod and uh, that I'm using and all of the, the mods I'm currently using. Uh, so if you go to that link now, it'll actually direct you to everything. I'm going to put a community post. I'll probably do it early next year uh, when I do the uh, New Year's resolution kind of thing or the New Year's update kind of thing. I'll probably throw it all in there kind of thing so that way though we can now have that in there. So. That will be that kind of thing. So though at the very least, though, you're going to be guaranteed to have it. So that's good. Anyway, uh, we're going to read the note. Let your pain become your pleasure. We know about your visions. You have visions of the future and the past. You are the chosen one and the only one who can find the soul sphere. An ancient artifact used for a massive scale soul capture it. Ooh, it's like Azura Star. Uh, before the beginning of time, two ancient demons, the Archpriest of Pain and Pleasure, sculpted the five cursed elements. Four of them remain unknown to us, but we are sure about that the fifth element is the Soul Sphere. Okay. Its power is unlimited. Stokan tricked the demons and stole the Soul Sphere. The demons became uh, his slaves. And he used the artifact to build a Tundalia. A Tundala. I don't know. A world ruled by Stokan's twisted mind. We need you to travel to Carhenia. Uh, Carhenia is a province of a Tundalia. A world of dreams inside a world of nightmares. That's where the fifth element is kept by Stokan's demons. You must bring that artifact to us. Travel to Nibini Valley. We will open a portal to Carhenia. There for you. If you succeed, Ash and Rose might have a second chance in life. Just remember, Stokan's world is just a dream, but if you die in that dream, it'll be for real. The Thraquarian Order. Ooh, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of one of the vanilla quests through Nightmare Darkly, where you have to go into the one guy's dream dream space, and if he dies, you die too. So it's kind of kind of like that. It's kind of cool, actually. I found a second note by those cultists. <laughs> I like how we call them cultists. Uh, for their own reasons, uh, for their own reasons, they didn't want to get in contact with me directly. In order to set Rose's spirit free, I must travel to Carhenia, an unknown realm possessed by the Cursed Ones, and recover the Soul Sphere, an ancient artifact used for massive scale soul capturing. There is an old farmhouse there where I can find all the info I need for my mission. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, Messenger of Death. Not a... Very good messenger of death now, are you? You didn't have anything. Alright, well. That was the dog, I guess, that I, that, I, that I saw the kettle for. Kettle? Kennel? I don't know. I don't care. You know what I mean. The, the little cage thing. I think that's Oblivion's interpretation of it. I might be wrong. It just reminds me a lot about it. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. All these screens are a bit long. Maybe this mod's not optimized. Anyway, where do we need to go? It's like somewhere down here, wasn't it? Portal to Carhenia. Does it not have a... Oh, hang on. No? Oh, show on that. Yeah, okay, so we need to go there. Okay, so we can go to Wendell back. Oh, we can have some fun! I'm in the wrong menu. That's why. <laughs> Where's the arrow? Alright, there we go. And... Oh. And we have liftoff. We'll be there in a few seconds. 
Actually, the game lags a little bit because it's trying to load everything. I could add a script effect, which will make it so that it can negate fall damage, but eh. That's no fun. And with this spell effect, it's doable without it. It's just to get this, right? It's a... Well. Well, I guess this happened. Cool. Anyway. Are we falling now? We're falling now. All right. Uh, I think this water is deep enough. Do I want to chance it? Should I call the armor just so we don't have to die? Uh, you know what? We'll save here. We'll see how far that goes. Okay, cool. Where's the mud crab? Hey, buddy. Where are you? Is it you? Was that guy? All right. Ooh. Hi, buddy. What do you do? It the portal. It's an abyss gate. <gasps> oh. They're the demons. I don't know. have oh okay I don't mind exploring oh well that's not good no wait my heart mine belongs to my own heart You stupid fly, get out of here. Okay. Alright, well. So I apologize if that was really loud. Uh currently like uh I muted myself, so that's why you couldn't hear me, but I was like, oh my god, they did the cool five thing instead of the fifth element thing. That was pretty cool. And then they also uh they also had, I guess you could say, like, flashing images in a sense, so I apologize for not mentioning that. I don't remember much about this mod. Last time I played this mod was in 2017, apparently. So, uh, a long time ago, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, so just a bit of warning here and there. I might try and add something, maybe, in the description, but, like, I think I'm going to forget about it to put it in the video, so I apologize for that. Anyway, let's go to Car Hedia. Cool! 
I managed to enter Carhenia. There's something I don't like about this place. A smell of blood and rotten flesh permeates the air, and the piercing sound of those whispers, like a thousand children whispering in my head. I should proceed to that farmhouse that the cult has told me about. Wait, what? They mentioned a farmhouse in here? What? Where? What? When did they do this? Uh, no. Did they mention? Where? Wait, maybe it's the beginning part? I don't remember reading about a farmhouse. No, they just said we, we, we will we'll help you travel to there. Yeah, we will open the portal for you. There, uh, We'll open the portal to Carhenia there for you. If you succeed, Ash and Rose will have a second chance in life. Just remember that his world is just a dream, but if you die in it, you'll die in real life kind of thing. Wow. Cool. I always wanted one of those. Anyway. Ooh. Seriously? <laughs> I think these are not leveled. Yeah, they're definitely not leveled. I shouldn't be getting steel and like iron at my level. I'm level 35, my man. 